It's been a busy few weeks for councillor Graham Elliott. His phone hasn't stopped ringing. The complaints are flooding in. Cars have been damaged, prize plants uprooted. Some people have had enough. They've got big feet, claws, which of course damages a lot of small plants, but not only that, they peck all the buds and things. The noise, it's, it's almost a hoot, yes, and it's very loud and it starts quite early. Uh, the last few mornings, probably half four, five, something like that. These are the culprits. At least seven peacocks, possibly more, rampaging through gardens in Beckles. No one knows where they came from, but numbers are growing. One here, I've been attacking my little cherry, my little rose, standard rose bush. Mel Goodwin moved into the town from the countryside hoping for a quiet life. She was mistaken. Something needs to be done for the peacock's sake. We've already got one now with a dodgy leg. It's inevitable because they actually wander in the centre of the town. And uh, when you're backing out, I mean, I nearly had one one day. When you're backing out, they're below. I know. What, intentionally? Uh, no. <laughs> I have discussed roasted peacock for Christmas, but uh, only jokingly. <laughs> uh, no, it's. I just want to see them house where they're going to be happy. But that is easier said than done. A farm nearby has agreed to take the peacocks, if they could be caught. We've had one spectacular failure at, at capturing them. Um, what did that involve? <laughs> that involved uh, two local councillors, a local doctor and, uh, and, and a couple of other people with nets. Within seconds the peacocks were all on the roof. And not everyone wants to see the back of them. Their beauty is, after all, undeniable. But with the breeding season now underway, the patience of the good people of Beckles could soon wear rather thin. Richard Daniel, BBC Look East.